And then as far as um, surveillance goes, is that, again, just their general submissions? Are there going to be monthly submission requirements? Or are you just sampling, you know, blood samples from market hogs as they're coming in and that's part of surveillance? What does that really look like with the uh, SHIP program? It's With the SHIP program, it, it looks a little bit different. What, what, and the rules have not been put in place. Part of what's happened in the August meeting was the, the agreement that we'll, we would move forward with a with a group to study how that might might happen. What what SHIP has proposed is a very minimal sampling numbers, um, and by that I mean um, in in peacetime or say in the absence of African swine fever, classical swine fever, collect samples from five animals, uh, and those samples would be very simple samples, uh, oral swabs or uh, it could be blood swabs like people collect a lot, or it could be an oral fluid sample like people collect a lot. Uh, put those in one tube, so we're looking at a pooled sample, and send them in. It turns out that even though we're, we're actually using very minimal sampling numbers, then when you put those all together on a regional basis, the likelihood of detection, the probability of detecting, in this case, African swine fever or classical swine fever is extremely high. And so it's, it's the power of uh, putting all those numbers together that, that really gets us a good benefit. And it actually reduces uh, any kind of imposition or cost to producers. 